will begin to reopen our pubs and restaurants outdoors. And honourable members, but stay in Wow. <laughs> it's almost comical, actually, isn't it? Sam Harrison has been waiting for weeks to find out when his London restaurant can reopen. But the news from British Prime Minister Boris Johnson wasn't quite what he'd been hoping for. A phased reopening, first outside and then indoors. Those are quite strong phrases, aren't they? No earlier than. Yeah. We're going to be opening outside in potentially in the middle of April, one of the wettest months of the year, still a cold month. And so I think for a lot of restaurants, it just financially won't be viable. You know, we only get one shot really at reopening. We can't afford to get this wrong. And talk about timing. This restaurant and its brand new kitchen only opened four months before the pandemic struck. The government hopes to allow pubs and restaurants to open outdoors in the middle of April. But for that to work, there'll need to be better weather than there is now. And in the UK, it's hardly reliable. But if you want to eat inside a restaurant, you'll have to wait until the middle of May at the earliest. Yeah. Wine bar owner Sunny Hodge says knowing lockdown is ending is a massive relief psychologically. But he doesn't agree with shops and gyms opening ahead of bars. I think there's a big aspect of upset and anger at not fully understanding why we're not part of the non-essential shops opening up. As for hair and beauty salons, they won't open until the 12th of April at the earliest. And this salon is expecting business to boom. A lot of people are struggling financially, but a lot of people, as you said, they are saving money and they cannot wait to spend this money as soon as they can. The government says each phase of reopening will be announced with one week's notice. Sam Harrison says that's not enough. It's pretty hard just to crank things up again. You know, we've been dead, sleeping, dormant. You can't just turn that tap on overnight. Uh, surely they can give us more than a week's notice so that we're actually ready because when we are able to open, we need to trade as strongly as we can. Every penny's going to count. At least businesses now have dates on the horizon to work towards. But in these times, the next step in the pandemic can be just as unreliable as the British weather. Nicole Johnston, CGTN, London.